like to show you how the sample mount works in the cryostation. The sample mount consists of the grip bracket and the sample post. The end of the sample post has a flat surface on it with bolt holes for clamping your sample on the surface. The holes are there for you to create a grip plate that would hold your sample firmly down. You may also hold your sample to the flat plate using a thin layer of GE varnish, such as the one provided with your system. Whatever you do, make sure you have a strong thermal connection to the metal. The grip bracket also has holes in the side for mounting a plate, uh, something like this. This would be used for transmission experiments where you, your beam would be going through the experiment. This uh, plate or interface would be customized for your sample. The uh, post can be mounted either vertically or horizontally in here, vertically like such for overhead view, um, or uh, horizontally. You can uh, mount it so that your sample is close to the center of the sample chamber as such, or you can mount it um, uh, so your sample reaches out so it's very close to the window for uh, low working distance applications. Uh, however you mount it, be sure you tighten down this bolt to hold it in place firmly. Uh, it's important you have a good uh, mechanical connection between the grip bracket and the post to provide good thermal cooling. You can create any number of interface plates to mount to the grip bracket of the platform itself. Here are a number of examples that were created for various experiments. You can make them from copper, but you really should coat them with gold or nickel bright finish to keep the emissivity low. Whatever plate you use, be sure you grip it firmly to the cold plate. A strong bolted connection is much more important than large surface area. Here we have the CB12 and LCC28 uh, thermally damped electrical sample mounts. These mount on the end of the post. You can see the four screws there that mount, mount down there. Uh, and uh, give you a strong thermal connection of your sample to the post with electrical uh, connections uh, made very easy. I have shown these configurations on the post without a sample thermometer. Your system is provided with a sample thermometer mounted out on the sample post. It's held on with this little clip in that hole there on the side of the post. This provides an accurate indication of the temperature of your sample. Sample. If you wish to monitor the temperature of another place in your experiment, such as the sample itself, we have provisions for connecting your thermometer to our electronics so this temperature can be displayed on the user graph. There are eight holes in the sample platform so that the grip bracket may be mounted at any 45 degree step. There are four brass screws which hold the bracket down to the platform. Be sure to tighten these firmly so you get good thermal connection uh, up to the uh, bracket. When you are done with this, you can install the sample post. Be sure to tighten it in place as well so you have a good thermal connection out to your post and then ultimately to your sample. That's it. That should give you a good idea of how easy it is to configure the sample mount for your experiment. Please call us if you've got questions. At Montana Instruments, we make cold science simple.